We are getting a closer look at what happened at a court hearing for a woman accused of performing dangerous and illegal butt injections. Denise Ross surrendered yesterday. She's now out of jail on bond. Fox Force's Dion Anglin is in with a look at what happened during the hearing and what's next for Ross. Dion. Oh, that's right, Steve. She got a significant bond reduction down to $50,000. That's from a quarter of a million dollars. And Denise Ross walked out of Lou Starrett jail around 1130 last night. 43-year-old Denise Rochelle Ross, also known as Wee Wee, surrendered seven days after police issued a warrant for her arrest. A second suspect in the case, Jimmy Clark, who also goes by Alicia, is still on the run. Both are charged with practicing medicine without a license, running a business inside this Dallas shop on East Side Avenue in Deep Ellum, where they allegedly gave homemade butt injections to clients of substances, including hardware products like caulk and using super glue to close the injection sites. In court, Ross stood before Judge Gracie Lewis with her attorneys. The transcript from Wednesday's hearing, Prosecutor Justin Lord states, for each victim who is willing to come forward and cooperate, the Dallas Police Department could file those cases. It's our understanding, based on the instant investigation, there could be dozens, if not more, hundreds possibly, of these potential victims. He went on to say, there's also the matter of the death of one of the customers of the defendant. Potentially, there is a homicide charge coming for that, too. Ross's attorney, Kenneth Weatherspoon, trying to persuade the court to lower her bond, reiterated, she's not a flight risk. She's lived her entire life in Dallas, and she would subject herself to whatever supervision the court would suggest. The prosecutor came back with this. The practice this defendant or co-defendant has been involved in it's a pretty lucrative practice. We think her financial means are pretty vast. Therefore, bond, as it is set, wouldn't in and of itself be unreasonable. Now, Ross will be outfitted with an electronic leg monitor within the next few days. I've been in touch with her attorney, Demarcus Ward. He is quick to point out the bond amount more so now reflects the charge, a third degree felony, practicing medicine without a license, he says, which is what she is charged with at this time and nothing more.